Echan. Hey, dad self. Before you know it, it'll be time for you to go out there and get a job. Because I'm growing up so fast? No, it's because states across the country are rolling back child labor protections. Why? Because we're telling them to. Who are you? A think tank based in Florida. And we're their lobbying arm. We've had a lot of success among Republicans to relax regulations that keep kids from working long hours in dangerous conditions. What exactly is going on with the several red states that have chosen to either introduce or sign into law new rules that would loosen child labor laws? Well, it turns out that there's actually an organization behind it that is heavily funded by conservatives, a lot of big name conservatives that we've talked about on this show quite a bit. It's called the Foundation for Government Accountability. And this is how the right wing gets what it wants. They are well funded, well organized, they work together to get exactly what they want. And in this case, it's loosening child labor laws in states like Arkansas. So for example, this was the group that was behind the law that was recently passed in Arkansas, which of course eliminated permits and age verification for employees under the age of 16. Okay, the bill sponsor, State Representative Rebecca Burks, said in a hearing that the legislation, quote, came to me from the Foundation for Government Accountability. Okay. I like that admission. No, I mean, it was super transparent, but let's also be clear, right? The reason why all of these super wealthy conservatives get together and create organizations with these like funny sounding names, right? The Foundation for Government Accountability sounds awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the exact opposite. It's the exact opposite. The reason why they do it is because they want to essentially shroud their efforts in something that sounds good, but in reality is horrific. I'm just real quick aside so you know how this game is played. I explained in chapter four of Justice is Coming, that's a book that's coming out soon that I wrote. Lewis Powell wrote a memo in 1971 and one of the things he said in that legendary memo about how they could take over the country for corporate rule was let's create these think tanks where we will pretend that these are the experts in the field and we'll get the media to keep quoting them and we'll have them then go into the media and, and, and even into politics and we'll use them as the scholars, etc. to pretend that the corporate position is correct, okay? And they do it all the time and now it's so open and there's no journalism left in the country at all. So a politician can just openly say, "Oh yeah, I got that idea by the think tank." And Thousand percent. Yeah. When the think tank's just a, nothing but a corrupt uh, gateway for corporations who want to use child labor, but the press goes, "Bravo, way to get it from a think tank." A lot of thinking going on there. To be fair, in this particular story, the Washington Post did a decent job in uncovering this group and how they're the ones behind the efforts to loosen child labor laws. What's incredible is there's the organization, right? The Foundation for Government Accountability. They have their own lobbying arm as well, which is known as the Opportunity Solutions Project. Again, love the euphemistic names, they're fantastic, right? I'm gonna do another quick aside. I named the money to get my, the movement to get money out of politics uh, Wolfpack. And everyone in Washington hates that name. They're like, why isn't it a nice name like Americans for America? Okay? No, but they're kind of right. No, because I want it to be populist. I don't want it to be guys who just, oh, America's for uh, Americans for sunny days. No, we're coming to get you, sons of bitches, because we're sick of the corruption. And we don't mean it physically, but we mean it in terms of politically, rhetor rhetorically, etc. Let's go get them. I'm sick and tired of this corruption. Now they're coming for our kids. So as I mentioned, there's the Opportunity Solutions Project, which is the lobbying arm of this right wing group trying to loosen the child labor laws. Keep that in mind as I tell you more about what's going on here. In May of 2022, meaning last year, Opportunity Solutions Project lobbyist James Harris forwarded two draft child worker bills to Daniel Wilhelm, the chief of staff to Missouri State Senator Andrew Koenig. Uh, chair of the Chamber's Committee on Education and Workforce De uh, Development, according to emails obtained through open records laws. So the lobbyist sends drafts of the legislation they want to the state lawmakers. Like, yo, this is this is this is this is what you need to do now. Yeah, politicians, guys, okay. are just actors. Puppets. They're just puppets. little silly little puppets. That's exactly And then the right. media tells you they're amazing people. Oh, the revered, honorable gentlewoman from Maryland. No, the stupid actor who's the servant of the rich from Maryland. That's the correct way of saying it.
So I like that. Now Koenig uh, introduced the measure as one of the first, one of the first bills filed for the Missouri legislature's 2023 session. Harris then testified in support of the legislation in a February hearing. Really nothing to add, Harris said, referring to Koenig's opening remarks touting the bill. Other than you're right. And if you're wondering, okay, you keep mentioning these wealthy conservatives, like who are they? Well, the top donor to this group, uh, the Ulan family. So let's go to graphic six here because the Foundation for Government Accountability had quite a bit of revenue in 2020. And uh, the majority of that revenue, $3 million of the 10.6 million came from the Ulan family. Yeah, so guys, this is another uh, part of what's wrong with our system, but uh, despite the right wing screaming from the rooftops nonstop, oh, Soros, George Soros, uh, the left actually has almost no money, okay? And almost all the money on the left goes to corporate Democrats who have the same goddamn agenda as corporate Republicans, okay? Meanwhile, the right wing is flush with money. They don't know where to put it. They're like, let's pretend there's a think tank over there, give it to the lobbyist over here. And let's buy off a bunch of pundits and have them switch from the left to the right. We'll get them a nice house in Florida, etc., etc. So look at all this money gushing out of there. Why do you think they're doing it? For their health? Because they just ideologically think, I need 13 year olds working. That'll give them the backbone they need to be better human beings. They want cheap labor. No, they want cheap labor. They want to exploit your kids. Period. That's it, that's what this is. They don't want to, I mean, look, when you're young, you have less power, right? And they don't They don't wanna have to deal with paying people fair wages. They don't wanna have to deal with the costs associated with you know, employing actual adults. And um, I do wanna give you some more information on this because the lobbyists for this right wing organization um, have been working in 22 different states as of now. I'm sure they'll expand it in the future. So you have the corruption with money in politics. You have literal lobbyists handing draft legislation to state lawmakers to pass. And to be sure, uh, they do exactly as they're told because they're taking money from them as donors. So of course they're gonna do exactly what they're told. Like the corruption is the heart, the root of Pretty much every policy related issue we have in this country. You know, so we show that fake picture of the guy, the lobbyist stuffing the money in the politician's pocket, right? If that happened in real life, most journalists would be like, I don't see it, he's just talking to him. He's just talking to him. He's sharing his ideology. And coincidentally, they happen to have the same ideology, which is take your kids and make them work for really low wages so they can increase their profits. And then take a small percentage of those profits and give it to think tanks and politicians so that they can get more kids to exploit. Oh, But I don't see it, I don't see the corruption. And honestly, I don't think, this is my speculation, right? But I don't think it's a coincidence that as the United States is upping the ante in terms of like its adversarial rhetoric toward China. All of a sudden, companies based in the United States are looking for other workers to exploit. Yeah, and so they say, "Oh, we got to make sure that we not just China. We have, oh, we got to end the uh, undocumented immigrants from coming in. Of course, they would say illegal, etc. It's outrageous. We can't have it." And then they're like, "Oh, but we have nearly full employment. So what are we going to do?" Oh, I got a great idea. We could replace the immigrants with tiny little kids and pay them the same crappy salaries that we pay immigrants. Okay, you guys like that? Man, we fought for decade after decade, way back in the day, to make sure that our kids would not be exploited and they would not be sent into coal mines and assembly lines, etc. Now we're back to the bad old days. And nobody's doing a goddamn thing about it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.